I'll be sharing with you my train of thoughts after discussing with my client who was asking about uh, their own three generation BTO layout that they've been trying to sell for the past two months. Okay, um, what happened was they they've been following us mm. on Instagram. Uh, I posted some uh, ideas about house hacking. That means you cut up your thousand one square feet uh, three bedroom and make it into five bedroom units and mm. then rent out. You know, for 10 k example. Um, but eventually they said that they are trying to sell their three gen uh, property for two months. Cannot sell. So I was doing some research and actually I was. Okay, and for you to understand what's going on, first I need to show you a five-room BTO layout. All right. So basically, most people will be familiar. You got your living area, your dining area, one, two, three bedroom kitchen, hundred and ten to hundred and thirteen square meters usually. Now a three-gen layout. How does it look like? Back and forth. Back and forth. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. <laughs> Computer will get the So this is five room. This is three-gen. The only difference is. This extra main bedroom number two. Basically, you have two master rooms here and here. And the size? Is there any uh, only one dollar? Only one, one dollar. Right? Correct. This is not yeah. a dual key. This three is not gen. a dual key. But is all uh, all three gens like that? Or? All three gens are like all this. Yeah. Like so that. they specifically made this three gen not into a dual key. That means dual key usually you have. I should have brought up the. Floor yeah, plan. actually no. But you look at it right. If you can. You can How? kind of like create okay, a right foyer. A uh, dual key usually you have uh, one door here, and then as you enter the house, you have another door to bring you to this section, and then another door to bring you to this section. That means people who stay here might possibly never ever see the people who stay privacy here. La, privacy, lah. You have like own privacy. But the purpose of this is not so that the to owners can together. rent out yes, this yes, unit. Yes, yes, the yes, purpose yes. of this is HDB built this so that your parents can come in. Mm. And then they can stay here, uh, uh, slightly further away from your family. Own privacy. Yeah, also, you have uh? your own privacy from mm. your parents. Very important. Okay. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, it's the same. Yeah. And the difference is just ten, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten square meters difference only. Not even ten lah. The difference is usually five to um, seven square meters. Okay. Now that is three gen versus five room flat. What I wanted to find out was what is more profitable. Which is more profitable? Uh, a three gen layout or a Five. Video, thanks. Um, and possibly they created this layout as a replacement to executive apartments, as a replacement for executive mansionettes. Which I think is quite brilliant. Why? I feel okay, like executive. I feel lah. Like, okay, like example for mansionette, right? They know that eventually, like elderly people don't want to go up and down. Yes. Example. True. So by having everything in one, you know, just bigger. One flat. Yeah, one flat. One, one plate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, one platform. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, then, then you got the executive apartment one. Just buy that lah. Yeah, but they don't segregate. You know, I right. mean, they, they, there's true, no true, true. privacy. If you want to have your parents together yeah, with you lah. Yeah, yeah. All right, true. Okay, can. Um, now to highlight some of the differences would be the fact that it's only a difference of seven square mm-hmm. meters. Mm-hmm. Then I got a bit curious lah. I googled how big is a car park. <laughs> Okay, a motorcycle car park lot is 12 square meters. So we can sleep, ah? Huh? You can sleep <laughs> in a motorcycle car park, car park okay. lot. Um, and this is just five mit- at best 10 square meters bigger. A parking lot for motorcycles somehow is bigger. I don't know how true it is. That is. I think car lah. Car, car okay. Okay, 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 car here. Car is 30 square meters on average. Oh, not bad, ah. Huh? Maybe it is nonsense, ah. Huh? But otherwise, uh, it's small. The extra room is basically an extra room only lah, and then to buy a three gen, mm. most important the difference between three gen and a five room you have to buy it with your parents. It is meant to be a multi generation uh, property. Oops, okay. Um, your children one generation, you second generation, third is your parents the mm. third generation. So so three gen. That's the whole point of a three gen property. So those people couples without uh, kids they still not able to buy lah in a way. I don't know about that. I think I think can as long as you are buying with your parents because the requirement is your parents. Yeah. This is so just basically don't need the children. Don't need, don't need. Regardless, potentially. Uh, you mentioned with children, yeah, yes, so I right. mean, Thanks. without children, yeah. in fact, they still can, can. go for it yeah, because they are planning, with your parents. right? For okay, and and that is a requirement. Mm. That is a eligibility check. In fact, if you don't have your parents coming in as an occupier, you cannot. 
buy. Mm. Okay, that means your parents might have their own property. They want to. You thinking, okay lah, nemen mak bapa go rent their house. They stay with me. Cannot. Parents must not have their own they property. Must sell. They must have be home. They must be homeless and come in as your occupier. And I think they can come in as co-owner. I think. I think. I think. Okay. Um, now that's one issue. Second issue when you want to sell. The limited resale potential. You can only sell to the same group of people, family nucleus, who, who whose parents don't have a house because and staying with them. Yeah, parents being parents, sometimes they want an ownership. Yeah, of you also want their yeah. want them to have their own place, right? Yes, yeah? yes, correct. Yeah, and and I, I think right. The second point, I feel it's probably more worth it for parents to have like their own property rent mm. out. They get much more than that. Yeah. What? What twelve square meter yes. motorcycle parking? Yes. I feel, yeah. Yeah, cap cap capak. Uh, not not many over, people. Uh, not many parents actually want to let go. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's true. Not many parents will want to do this. Uh, that yeah. also means uh, when you want to sell in future, it's going to be a bit challenging, and we're going to talk about that in a while. Now, going to go straight to the whole point. I've spent a few minutes to introduce to you the concept of three gen. Um, five room straightforward lah. I'm not going to waste my time explaining to you what five room is. Which is more profitable? I'm gonna. Uh, it's a very objective question, mm. but it's gonna have a very subjective answer. Okay, now um, it was first released in 2013, like eight years, nine years ago. Okay, uh, in Bunle, three estates actually: Bunle, Ishun, and uh, you see lah. I, I, I have it prepared. Okay, now interesting. Okay. How about? No, I think Tampani in the east. Eh? In the east, have I think have. But not haven't haven't MOP yet. Haven't MOP yet. In and okay, okay. See, see, a five room, okay, is was selling for typically three five five. Same price. Ah. Three gen also same price. You know why or not? I think right. Five room can accommodate four rooms. Three gen also can accommodate four rooms. Uh, I mm. no. I think uh, but possibly, they are, they are, but they are my like thoughts, my mm. thoughts is uh, because of the eligibility makes oh, it yeah, tougher. Yeah, yeah. tougher. So tougher. HDB made it like. Uh, fair playing field, field lah. It's it's uh, cheaper, but not everybody can buy, because literally only with parents willing to bring parents in can buy. Yeah. Okay, so it's been um, they've done gone through their construction. They've gone through their MOP. Ten years already. Today, they there is no resale transaction recorded yet, but it has reached its MOP. That means if BTO reach MOP already, what do the owners do? They definitely want to sell. They want to sell. Because the profit. Okay, so I'm going to show you some there. transactions, uh, some listings which are in the market right now. But before that, I got a bit. Um, when I see all these numbers, I always think about funny, funny things. On you see, back then in 2013, five room cost costed mm. cost three five five k. The average income was around 5.8 applicant. Mm. 61 months worth of uh, your salary lah. Then you can afford a five room flat BTO. Today, all right. Check it out. This is Sydney, 2021. Okay, eh, alamak, oops. All right. Uh, average five room flat really is around 500k, and then the uh, uh the average income is around 6.9. It is actually 78 months. Uh, previously, worth. how how much must our income be? 5.8. This is the average, lah. Mm. You know, mm. but okay, yes, your income has gone up, mm. but the prices Price has, has gone up like gone way up. higher. Yes. Uh. Yes. Mm. yes. Okay. Yes. Inflation has come in. Um, prices of uh, land construction, like the prices of um, GST material, also GST all going up. Okay, <laughs> so um, things are going to get more and more expensive, lah. Uh, we have to get used to that. Now, this is uh, the same estate that's trying to sell. In fact, my client is from this estate, lah. Not this unit exactly. Um, the BTO was at three five five. Today, people are trying to sell for 858k. Wow, oh, that's almost double, man. More, It's more than double. 500k profits. Yeah. Let's take a wow. look. Wow, I got so many. Uh, wait, wait, I must close this first. Um, got, uh, wait, wait, wait. This is the layout. Okay. Um, exactly what you saw just now. Mm. You got one bedroom, two bedroom here, all here. Uh, okay. This is how it looks like inside. Uh, it looks very normal actually, like a any BTO flat, yeah. all right? Uh, nice view here and all that, but selling for 858k. Uh, the best part that is no transactions in the estate yet. Okay, oops. But potentially the seller can get 500k. 500k profit is all. Hey, but sorry, uh, better than buying condo, no? Very interesting in terms of the pricing. If I because yesterday I was just uh, uh serving a buyer trying to find an EM. EM. Which is about. 
800, 900. Yep. Yeah, so, so remember the replacement? Yeah, replacement in yeah. terms of those who actually feel see the potential in yes. in this layout. Uh. But nobody has bite yet. Nobody has bitten bit. Nobody has. The eligibility lah. Yeah, okay, eligibility okay, the parents stuff, still uh. the one to okay. sell the house. Second estate, Saraka Breeze in Yishun. Same thing, mm-hmm. no resale transaction. Yishun. Has reached MOP, but interestingly, um, look at the price. Asking for seven nine six nine nine seven hundred k is hundred and fifty k cheaper than Boon Lay, right? There, there are there, there's a lot of listing in this estate for three gen, but I chose uh, this listing because uh, my ex mentor is <laughs> yeah, Adi, and then um. Let me see him lah. Um, I'm gonna play this. He actually has a video. He did. Assalamualaikum. He's presenting the house. Yes. All right. A lot of energy, yeah. Yes. <coughs> he is selling the house. The only thing he's highlighting is two master bedroom. That's the whole point of this property. This is the. You're, you're seeing it live, lah. This is the property. You see that there's the toilet at the back there. It's going to show you the second master bedroom. So that is the unique selling point of Correct. this region, I believe. Then as I you believe. walk through, everything looks like a normal five room flat. Yeah. You only have the extra space, all right. Yeah. Then he goes on to show the estate, all right. Um, and going back here. But it's still very interesting. How can it be 150 for a different estate? Is ah, really? okay. That's the thing. <laughs> Who is priced correctly? Mm. Boon Lay is priced correctly or Ishun is priced correctly? That means someone is underpriced or awesome. someone is overpriced. overpriced. Okay, we'll find out soon. Because this estate has a resale transaction. In Ishun? In, no, sorry. This is in Anchorville, uh, Sengkang. Okay, but not the three gen. Three gen. Oh, three gen. Three gen I has see. already. Uh, they have already been in the market, okay, and they already okay, and have the a transaction. Okay, okay. How okay. much? How much? I, I want to go back here first. You see, the price of a three gen and a five room is around 10 k more expensive. Okay, fair enough. Bigger Expected. size for three bigger, gen. Bigger size, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. All right. Um, here, interesting. Look at the price of a five room flat versus a three gen. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, and three gen is bigger. Bigger. You get one extra car yeah. lot, no inside. Okay. okay, it is. It costs more, even though it's just 5 k, right? It's more expensive. Uh, a three gen is uh, sorry, a five room is more expensive. Interesting, huh? Oh, maybe they are trying to uh, encourage people to stay with the parents. Maybe. Yeah. So right. they, But this they is stay. one year after wow. Bunle, one year after ah. uh, Saraka in Yishun. Mm. Okay, whatever they were trying to do, that is the facts. This is taken from uh, HDB's uh, brochure. I never Photoshop one, huh? Got no skill for Photoshop. Uh, I wanted to guess how much do you think the resale transaction? Has clocked in for a three gen layout just a few months ago. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Yeah, in uh, in Anchorville. Anchorville. Oh, this in is very Anchorville. close to the. This is very close to the. Oh man, this is uh, difficult. I S- think seven. I, I would say. Sengkang I would say seven hundred to eight hundred. Ah. No, no, too big. Give me a ten. Okay, seven five zero. Seven five zero. Ah, okay. Not too far. Not too far away. Yes. Okay. Not bad. Not okay. Bad. Um. 730 and 700 for a high floor 730 low floor 700k okay i want to highlight the fact that there's only two transactions and mm. i also want to highlight the fact that this is my phone number if you want to call me and sell your property please call um right only two transactions because i'm going to show you the five room layouts uh, the five room transactions in the same estate you want to guess how many transactions there are since mop the mop around the same time didn't you just say two for the this three gen, this three gen what yeah. a five room I think much more. Ah. How many? 100 plus. 100 plus? Who is it? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, before oh, I show that. Why not? This, uh, this is co- confirmed. They bought around 385. They sold for 730. They are getting 345k profits. Shook. Sure. Wait, these are the three, three gens. gens. Okay. Shook. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Now, five room flat. Hey, sorry, ah, when you say three four five, it's like more than some condo yeah, owners. Yeah, I tell you, Seriously? worth it. It's damn worth it. Okay. Yeah. Now. Look at the transactions for a five-room flat. There's 18 transactions oh, so in the different. same time frame. There's oh, like nine that times area more volume. Yeah. Mm. Uh, same, 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 same estate. Mm-mm, okay, um, selling for around the same price. And if you remember, the five-room was a bit more expensive. Mm. Hence, selling for around the same price makes a bit more sense. Ah, huh? as the lower floors selling for 600 plus, the higher floors or maybe unblocked view or maybe super renovated selling for as high as 750, 765. 
Which beats the three gens yeah. pricing already. But five room was five k more expensive, if you remember. Okay. All right, it's around there, three hundred uh, around there lah, three hundred forty k. So, which is better? If you're gonna be buying a BTO, applying for a BTO, the estate that you wanna apply has a five room option, has a three gen option. Which would you go for? Honestly, five room. Five room. Because right, when we buy something, we want to know exit strategy wise, right? It's gonna be easy for the mass market yeah. to enter. Yes. Yeah, because we know that while well, parents also want their security, yes. it's gonna be very tough. And then being parents, mm. it's gonna be very tough to talk yeah. them to sell, you know, like uh, sell your property. Tough to live with them, also. Right? No, yeah. and then, <laughs> so, it's good. So she and will right? go for five room because yeah, I love my mom, so I'll buy a three gen. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> but buying, but knowing that if I go for a three gen, I will be. It's very gonna be very difficult to sell. So okay. you will go for three gen? No, actually I won't. <laughs> My mom got her own house already, settled already. So precisely, we show love differently, okay? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will also go for a five room, actually. Um, purely because of the liquidity, it's so yeah. much easier to sell. Can you imagine if you need to sell because your children got into uh, RI, then you have to move to Bishan? Or you truly need to downgrade because, example, one spouse stopped working. Yes. You know, in such situation, we we don't want to be so desperate Correct. to just let go at not as a good profit. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm, we're not okay. I'm not saying that three gen is not good. I think I like the concept of three gen. But me being me, right? I would probably if I have if if it's so cheap, I would go for three gen, and then I would just rent out one side. Possible. Yeah. Possible. Yeah. Re, yeah. Okay. Like, make a little bit changes Different, and modification yeah. to it. And then make it as a dual key, ah, and there you go. Interesting. You know I mean? When I was doing the research, you cannot rent oh. rooms for three gen. Oh, ah, okay, I no missed that out. I missed that out. I should have put it in. You yeah, cannot rent. Yeah, it's a very big. Yes. Even jumbo flats they can, can. rent out. Yeah. Okay, so now wow, this is not even a oh, half yeah. thought, nah. Never. No, no agree. Just so no. You have our, our our answers here. Um, I'm also gonna go for five room. If you're gonna ask for my advice, I will tell you, don't buy three gen. But if we need to help you to sell your three gen, we you have can. strategies for it. <laughs> What strategy? <laughs> <laughs> Love your parents more. Ah, yes, 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 yes. We find families who really like close knit. Yes. Yeah. Hey, but to be honest, there are some parents who don't have property because mm. they uh, like one person die already. Yeah. Then at that point of time, they sell. Okay, yeah, these are good yep. candidates actually yep. who might prefer, but they don't know. Actually, you know, some people don't know the existence of this three gen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so new. Yeah, I, I had new. to research to yeah. understand because my, even my client says they're having difficulty selling. So I was trying to understand why is it bit, uh, why is it a bit difficult to sell. Then I was looking at the past transactions for past estates. Then yes, I realized, yes. hey, there's actually a. Um, uh, pattern lah that every estate is a bit difficult it's to sell. It's just that it's not so many supply for us to propose to to them. Yep. I mean, three gen we don't find it ever. I'm, yeah. I'm still thinking where on earth in the east there's three gen. Tampines should have ah. Tampines and Bedok should have. Okay. All right, and that's it for today's uh, topic. We were talk discussing about the idea of uh, not five idea, room the concept and three gen. of uh, three gen versus five room, which is more profitable. Alright, mm. uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.